Okay. It's happening. Hi. Um, welcome to episode five. Speak, Evan. Yes. Yeah. Episode five. Nodded. Yeah. Um, today we were going to have some guests, but it kind of fell through, but they'll be back at some point. Um, but today we kind of wanted to talk about something that we both kind of had our, we've kind of just been thinking about is like the whole, like, like just creative people's brains. Mm -hmm. Cause it, you know, it, I mean, I think both Evan and myself consider ourselves to be creative you know and artistic in you know yeah. some way mm -hmm. um but like just like how how different it is i you know like just that experience is really odd sometimes when it comes to like talking to other people and just like like mental health stuff is kind of crazy like who are you you were talking about uh, was it Neil? Oh yeah, Cassell? Neil Neil Casal, um, yeah. who, after you know, I'm sure years, if not a lifetime, of struggling with different issues, took his own life, and you know, about three years ago, and I always get kind of I don't remember the exact date, but I always get a little uh, touchy around that time I don't know what it is uh, you know he could get all spiritual about it or whatever but it just kind of makes me makes me think for people you know who are they, they do and they're expected to shine such a bright light all the time uh, just are expected to kind of tuck away some of the darkness and you know just kind of figure it out for themselves which I feel like is you know really dangerous and you know it definitely shouldn't be that way yeah and like i even like that's kind of like the worst case scenario mm -hmm. but even just like things like not being able to like get your ideas out in the correct way or mm -hmm. you know like i or like all the possibilities and like all the different routes you could go you know like when it if you could go in a professional route you know or like a career like what would you do and that kind of, or like, the struggle, like, if people, like, worrying that people won't see things the same way that you do, or that you won't ever find your people, which is kind of what I've been having issues with lately, is just like, you know, I'm kind of been on a constant hunt for people that would like to work with me, or, you know, just do anything, whether that's visual art, or, you know, audio, and it's just, um, you know, it's really difficult, and a lot of it is like things that, you know, I can't control, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's gender or like, lit like just literally anything, I don't know. Um, but yeah, cause like, I, like, I know that those people exist and that's the worst part is like, I know that I could find people that I get along with. It's just, they're either in the same space as me where they're like, kind of just burnt out trying to find people or you know, I don't know, they're just not searching because they've already found it, you mm -hmm. know? And that's that's kind of a struggle I've been having lately. And, like, I have the same thing where it doesn't, it's, you know, I have, like, some past, like, like a situation with, like, childhood cancer, not me specifically, but a family member. And every single year around that time, I get, like, a flare-up of, you know, I guess you could call it PTSD, but I get, like, super, like, all my, like, mental health, like, issues, I guess, I'm doing your quotes, but, like, all of that, it just gets, like, ten times worse, you know? Like, I'll get overwhelmed way easier than usual, um, you know, and all of that, and it's just something that you kind of prepare yourself for. And, like, even on, like, a less personal note, like, Evan was saying, like, you know, his is Neil, mine is probably, you know, like, this is, like, a very general one, but, like, Kurt Cobain, like, that shit, like, just knowing that somebody that, that you know, I, I think I'm a little similar to, you know, just in the fact that, you know, creatively we're very similar, like, that he did it, 
you know, mm -hmm. and just thinking about that, you know, because I struggle with all of that stuff too. I have the same problems, but like, he actually did it, you know, and that that's always kind of scary because like I know that that's a real thing mm -hmm. that people, you know, at that are like me do, and it's just kind of scary. Yes, and it's un unfortunately it's you know very un underrepresented when people you know with with resources uh that people like that need to be able to you know keep functioning as a normal member of society because you know i know the way it works in my mind and in a lot of people's minds is just you know what what's the saying uh I got a head full of ideas and it's driving me insane. <laughs> no, literally. That's like, like, I just... I am always thinking about literally everything and sometimes the things that stick that I keep, you know, this is what I'm working on now is the, the, the thought cycles that stick sometimes aren't the best ones and they're just irrational and, you know, aren't even real. Yeah, right. But that's just kind of, you know, for people... Yeah creative or otherwise that are just always thinking can fall into that way easier you know yeah and like I I'm trying to think of what I literally have I had a thought in my head um, I just like I love I really like thinking but I hate the fact that I don't have a lot of people to express it with Mm -hmm. Like I love philosophy and I, I even though it hurts my brain sometimes and I you know, I, I really It just really interests me because like all of life is like subjective and I You know and I do say that with caution because like hate speech is like not chill, but yeah. like you know, you know what I mean? Definitely like not the, chill. the artistic side and like the societal side of humanity is very Philosophical and I that's kind of just how I've always viewed things and I, I like to think about that but it kind of scares me at the same time because it it can go in like not in like a dark go down like a dark path but it's just there's just so much to think about because there's so much happening all the time and like you know and that, that can tie back to artistically like you know I I could be a tattoo artist mm -hmm. or I could just make it a hobby, you know, and do some random art and, you know, whatever. Or I could go, like, this route and do, like, sound design if I really wanted to because mm -hmm. I have the resources and I like it. But I have so much other stuff and, like, I, it's just so overwhelming. And, like, not being able to properly get it out is, like, one of the worst feelings in the world. And... You know, it just kind of goes back to being kind of lonely and, you know, it just even people close to you, like, it, I don't know, it just hurts to, mm -hmm. you know, have people that you, I don't know, I don't even know how to word it. It's just like, I don't know, I'm just very lonely right now, creatively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I think a big part of it is that, you know, I feel the same way to a certain extent. Although I've just you know, kind of been at it a little, a little longer and in a little bit of a different way. But I think a big part of it is we're in we're in the wrong place. Yeah. Because there's not much happening here. You know, it's kind of a a popular thing these days to, you know say that Kenosha is you know Kenoware or whatever but yeah it's a, to a certain extent it's true and like if you've lived here there's a a pretty specific kind of person that you see everywhere yeah uh, I just I want to go I just wish I was like in Seattle or some shit anywhere else really yeah because to... I mean <laughs> I, I love you know my my like I you know I love my family and all of that and I I like love this place because I've grown up here, you mm -hmm. know, and like I, I know where everything is. Yeah. Which is always good. And like I feel safe for the most part here. It's just like adulting wise, it's like, okay, now what? Yeah. 
and like because I know I could be doing so much mm -hmm. you know and I I don't know like one of my my big goals is to open up like a small business um, and kind of go that route because of like Southport rigging closing in Kenosha um, it just it kind of hurts because uh, you know I, I bought I bought all sorts of shit from there Some and spot. like it's ama it was it was amazing it's a, such a bummer mm -hmm. but like having it, I know it went through like a slight decline over the years because I know that there was like a half pipe in the back and mm -hmm. then they had like you know they had this pig system yeah for the like the official like closing not a closing ceremony but like just to kind of mark 41 years they had this local band pig system play and I, I just wish that they would have done more of that mm -hmm. before closing just to kind of you know I don't know just to be a place to hang out and I I don't know I just I wish there was more stuff like that which is why I say like no I've never been to Seattle but in theory it just seems like Kenosha but not as um gross but gross yeah because it is Seattle but you know exactly like I, I just feel like creatively there's a bit more people that are willing to show it because mm -hmm. it's not that because I think everybody is to an extent it's just I think some people are a little more brave you know whether it's consciously or not of like expressing that or talking about it in any way I just yeah I don't know mm -hmm. yeah it's there's definitely just kind of a weird thing in the air here of just judgment mm -hmm. all the time like non-vocal anything like there's just always i don't know yeah, it's, it's just... always kind of weird and i think it's because it's you know under resourced for those you know pe people that tend to be judgmental and in, in scenes like this are generally people that wish they could do something but can't uh yeah. Which is kind of sad because that just leaves you know even more potential talent that just yeah because has... everybody could yeah I mean a lot sometimes it is you know because they don't have the resources for it or you know whatever which is a thing sometimes mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean you have to be an asshole yeah like I you know mm -hmm. and sometimes people just turn to that because they have nothing better to do. Yeah. Because there's nothing better to do, <laughs> yeah. you know? And I mean, even, like, like I've had plenty of, not opportunities, but, like, for Kenosha. Like, I, like, I, there's been, like, things that have, like, celebrated the arts and everything. Like, for example, at Parkside, you know, there's, like, the art ceremony and, like, the scholarships. And, you know, that's great. But what after that yeah you know what i mean last. like there's no like you can't go from that to oh well you know here at parkside we'll give you you know do you want we'll give the because i won like best in show best of show whatever that award is and mm -hmm. got us like a scholarship that co covers like a year of tuition you know it's like seven grand or something mm -hmm. but there was nothing after that yeah other than the money which is awesome yeah but you know there's no further exposure or you know like spots in a show or anything like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's like it it just kind of ended there yeah you know you get such a high from that yeah and then it's like well now what now it's not like they're uh you know sending you all around the country as park sides you know best in show scholarship winner of you know 2022 so you can go and show off your stuff everywhere well, it's not even that <laughs> like i don't want that i just it, it's it's literally just like here yeah or yeah just any kind like, of just wider representation like after the show like literally i don't even know it's just like there's kind of like a it's not just parkside but it just feels like there's like a false mm -hmm. like exception of you know the arts and music and all of that like it's cool because it, it's cool to be accepting mm -hmm. so people do it but then when you t meet the people and you talk to them it's like okay you know yeah what do you actually now know what? about this yeah yeah that's 
that's a problem a lot of places, but you know, especially in communities where, like I said, things are under resourced and misunderstood a lot of the time. And, you know, in around where in our age, you know, bracket, there's big changes to be made, but you know, they should be able to be made here. I don't, I don't know why people, you know, what the incentive is always people I mean I get it like I understand but it shouldn't have to be oh I have to go somewhere else as soon as I'm you know out of school right. or whatever. I should be able to like <laughs> feel okay with staying if yeah. I wanted to but it's like kind of icky because there I, it's A just little bit. You and know, like uh, you know the whole whatever the, the police shooting Kyle Rittenhouse situation that was over two years ago Can you it was just that? insane I remember sleeping over at my aunt's house yeah and watching it on the couch and staying up all night watching dudes like live stream it on longboards yeah and I was like holy shit this is not happening right now yeah but that was you know felt like not long ago but mm -mm. anyways yeah just stuff like that there's just stuff that adds up and leaves a bad taste yeah and mouth. like there's still like like shit is still burnt down here. Yeah. Like there's there still, still boards up. There's still boards up with like Kenosha Strong on it. It's yeah. like what is that? What is that doing? Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm sorry, but I mean in the moment it's great because you're you're you know allowing people to go out and make art and you know protect some of the buildings you know whatever. Mm -hmm. And I mean I guess it's a performance for some which some want, but like. It's been three years, mm -hmm. you know, the buildings that got burnt down are burnt down and are actively, you know, in shambles, you know, like what's the, what Manja yeah. on the corner kind of by creative space is like rubble and it's just hanging out, mm -hmm. you know, and it's been like that for now three years. Yeah. And you walk and past it every time and you, you don't even think about it yeah, anymore. And there's like <laughs> shit like fenced off and it's like, well, this is not cool. Yeah. You know, I just... And another thing that pisses me off is the fact that that even happened. Yeah. The like I I you know I get peaceful protest and I understand that that's sometimes difficult to do and it's scary and I know that. And I know that a lot of the people that didn't weren't even from Kenosha. It was like people from Illinois coming in. Those damn Illinoisans. <laughs> but Illinoisans. they were Illinoisans in quotation marks people. Yeah. But like I guess, you know, some people came in from there just to cause carnage. Did you hear about that? That's mm -hmm. like a, yeah. Yeah. And Which the, is uh, a thing everywhere, but it's the blacked just... out vans or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was definitely a thing. And, you know, I didn't know anybody here that's actually from here that was like, yeah, everybody go and, you know, wreak havoc and right. And I know, I mean, I'm sure there was some assholes that were like that, which is whatever. Yeah. But I know that the majority that caused real harm mm -hmm. to businesses was people from outside of Kenosha. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it just sucks because it's like we could be, we could do so much better and it's free. You know what I mean? Like you don't, I, th I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, the past few years is like, grow growing up in that, it's like, I feel like you've either really had to grow up fast or you haven't grown up at all. Like, there's no in-between, but, you know, it's just either way, it, like, really just sucks for the development of, you know, young people, and a lot of them are still, you know, in shock and don't even know what to do with themselves, which is not what we need. No, uh, that's like literally the complete opposite. So. Yeah, and like it's you can't really blame them because it you know COVID whatever all that stuff shut well, down right. riots it's, it's a, whatever. It's like a valid. Not it's not an excuse. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a valid issue. Yeah. But yeah. In, I don't instead know. of turning it into something, a lot of people, you know, especially young people, just are. They just sit in it and never, you know. Like it could, it it's prime material, you know. It's yeah. It could be so much good could be done, and mm -hmm. you know, like the youngest people I know that you know organized things around that time, and you know all this stuff, were probably like twenty five. Which you know, don't get me wrong, you're not old if you're twenty five, but you know, yeah. Still, it's like people that are 
you know, whatever, just out of high school or whatever, they should be able to jump on those opportunities. And... Yeah, and I mean, I, like, you know, don't get, like, it's, I like, this is kind of what I was talking about, where, like, people want to do things, like me including, it's like, you're either forgotten about or you're, you know, like, I don't even know, is it, or like, you know, there's just not an opportunity, like, because it's just so difficult to even find a way to start. And there's, like, resources to, like, in theory, get out there. You know, you can, like, DM people. Yeah. You can, which I have attempted. And I'm getting ghosted by yeah. somebody that I DM'd. Sometimes it just doesn't and work. And twice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's just, like, what's the point? You yeah. know, and it's not, I don't know, I just... I mean, I would get it if I was, like, being an ass or, like, being weird, you know, yeah. or, like, stalkerish, but it's, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Speaking of uh, stalkers and, you know, while we're kind of on the topic of that, I, one thing that's just been, I guess I'm just going to rant about this, but one thing that still affects me to this day is something that happened a year ago of, you know, uh, I'm going to try and keep it as detailed as possible, but basically I had somebody that would stalk me and, you know, literally just, you know, record me and look stuff, blah, 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 you know, look up my name and find photos of me and just whatever, you know, stupid, but it left like a pretty severe mental imprint on me. And, like, it doesn't help with that, like I said earlier, where creative people already, you know, have so many thoughts that now, you know, one of the thoughts is, oh, is somebody watching me? Like, it's somebody, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, it's, it's you know, kind of a off topic of what we just kind of jumped to something else. But, you know, kind of looping it back is just that way of thinking I guess is super vulnerable and I feel like you know it's not listened to a lot of times because it's yeah. like oh yeah just just don't think that yeah which it's like and like I feel the I would same... love to <laughs> yeah like I I don't know I mean I'm gonna put you on blast yeah um I you know like I'll also give you a shout out for the, you know, whatever. But you have that thing on in Milwaukee. What is it? Give your, give your, your little, oh, yeah. Yeah, this little showcase thing I put together at Cactus Club. Yep. You know, yeah. But, um, somebody <laughs> forgot to, you know, <laughs> include me. And I, I did. Like, I just, just to tie it into, like, the thought thing, I, I don't know why I thought, I mean, I know it's not malicious. No. Do you know what I mean? But, like, yeah. it's just, you, like, think about it, and it's like, well, like, what? You know, that's, like, the, the first thing that came to my mind was, like, you know, like, what did I, like, you know, like, I don't know. Because I, yeah. I, I know you, and I know that it wasn't malicious, but then it's, like, well, why? And then you start thinking, like, you know, why this? Why, you know, I don't know. But it's just very unhealthy to think that way. Because then you, you kind of automatically view the worst in people, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, well, it doesn't, you know, it's yeah. not. It's just things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I I remember, like, floating it to you or something, and it was yeah, like... Yeah, we were watching a bunch of fish at... Pets. Yeah. We were on a bridge at Pets. Um, it was when I took pictures of you putting that hot dog on my exactly, car. Exactly, yes. And you're like, you, I, I'm going to get you to make, make me, you should make a poster. Yeah. And, and it was something like that. Else. I was like, yeah, sure. And then it just kind of. And then I didn't hear anything. Didn't, and I yeah. was like, oh, okay. And then, yeah. and then you sent me a screenshot of the like list. And I was like. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't. I, whatever. You know, I don't give a shit. I'm just talking. I am, but... however, working on another one though. So. Yeah, that's this should... one. This one though is like, I wanted the first one, the 
main thought was just I wanted it to be, you know, Milwaukee people because I didn't want any, you know, confusion or weirdness on like why it's called this. However, I do I do understand your your you know what you aren't you performing. Yes, yes, but, you know, yeah, I'm putting the damn, damn thing on and we needed time, time to fill, so, <laughs> but, yeah. You could yeah. fill it with me doing, I don't know, slam a poetry cover of something. <laughs> Not slam poetry? No. I mean, mm. perhaps. It wouldn't be good, but it, it would be something. When is slam poetry good? It, yeah. I'm just <laughs> nodding in disapproval. It's not always yeah. wonderful. I don't know. I, I do, do feel, feel kind of bad about that, that but. You should. <laughs> nah. I, it was like, um, that's one thing I would like to get better on is like following up because I know I just kind of proposed yeah. it to you. It just bummed me out because like, I was like, I see this motherfucker almost every day. I text him every day. Yeah. And then I was like, I just like looked at it and I was like, hmm, that's questionable. But like now I know, you know, whatever. It's fine. I might, I might be, be able, able to still, still figure, figure something, something out, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm not trying, trying to guilt you. I was just what, talking, talking about it because you brought up a stalker, and I was like, I'm going to bring up a, a stinger. <laughs> yeah. But, right. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's next on the agenda? Did you have any other people you wanted to talk about that committed suicide? Uh, what about a Wikipedia link? <laughs> we could find a good one. We could. Um, maybe not committed suicide, but uh. Top ten. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not gonna go there today. Uh. I don't know. I'm blanking. I'm looking at your Instagram post. Are you? It's not loading. Rate what you've seen so far. Grateful to be here now. Yes. <laughs> Marge said posting is posting AF. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> um, it's, and then Alana posted my good buddy Evan being a liar. And then... <laughs> did you see that? I did. Okay. Uh, Rainforest... Cafe, I'm assuming. No. No, what is that? Is uh, that like a that's at the venue? museum. Oh. Oh, I thought there was like a. Oh. <laughs> Raina dressed up as John Lennon. <laughs> Bro, nothing's loading. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's wonderful. It is just great. Uh, There's one of Logan pouring like syrup on my ice cream. Mm, that's that's pretty, pretty silly. That is silly. How silly of him. He's such a silly goose. He is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm in the, um, I'm almost getting a, I think I'm going to get a drum set. Yeah? I think I'm just going to pull the trigger and get the drum set. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to, you know, do with, I mean, I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's that'll open up some more doors for me because yeah. then I'll master three instruments. Exactly. Somebody has to be wanting something. Everybody wants want a drummer. drummer. Like, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I have to do at this point. Everybody, Everybody wants, wants a drummer and they're few and far between and, you know. Yeah. Some of them are questionable. Yes. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't know what else people would want from me. I don't know. Do I have to put on like a dress and like a push-up bra? Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I like I'm seriously like I don't know but yeah I'm that's got to do something everybody does need a drummer yeah I have learned that so that I'm just it's like my last resort I'm just gonna be a shitty drummer <laughs> you know, I think I'd be pretty good at it yeah I was I surprised myself you were drumming I did I did hit sticks on um thing stuff <laughs> uh, but yeah, Precisely. and then I jammed with Evan's. I played um, bass with Evan's dad. He played drums. That was fun. That seriously, that was a good. It was a fretless. Fretless. It got me obsessed bass. with fretless bass. I got a. I. I don't know. Going down the rabbit hole. They're so fun. Yeah, I was looking. I was looking at them. Oh, and I was procrastinating writing my anthropology <laughs> paper. I was fully looking at fretless basses. Good. Um, 
That's more, more important yeah. than anything. It was like a fretless Gibson, like it's, it's like, like a Gibson, Gibson slasher or something, something crazy. It's like a double cutout bass. Um, it was like a vintage. It was like two grand or some shit. And I was wow. like, I'm not gonna get that. But it was like fretless and it was like a DIY too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. You could DIY the. Uh, I know. I might have to do that. Yeah, I have a. It's not that hard. I know. As far as I know, I don't know. I have a bass at home. It was my first like string instrument ever, so it's like I'm never getting rid of it. But um, me and Evan have been talking like literally since we met about like modifying it yeah. to shit. Um, and I think uh, we have always talked about putting pickups on it, different pickups, other than like the stock pickups that were on it. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's like a hundred dollar Ibanez bass. It's like black and you know whatever. I think it's short scale too. It's like a little. It's a little guy. Yeah. It's great. It's, it's very, very fun, but I would like to take the frets off of it. Now. <laughs> That's a, I didn't even think about that, but yeah. Could, Could make, make it microtonal and add more frets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. It's, it's just, just all harmonics. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Just only frets. No, only frets. No wood. It's just metal. Yeah. Oh my god, aluminum. The alu- but the aluminum but not. Rack. It's, it's just, just made of frets, frets melted it's frets. It's just like nails. There's <laughs> just nails in it. But they face <laughs> like the inside of your hand. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. You nailed through the fretboard, so like you. Very hardcore. Yeah, somebody's it's definitely done that before. Oh, 100%. Like, I don't even know. Danzig. <laughs> Danzig has definitely... Any of the people in Gore or Henry Rollins, just for fun. No. Henry Rollins. He just, like, reads poetry. I don't believe he's going on tour. Did you see that? Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Stand-up tour. <laughs> oh. Henry that. Rollins. I don't, I don't believe, believe that he's, he's like, like, never done drugs. Oh, there's no way. He's <laughs> definitely fried his brain once or twice. There's yeah. No he, there's, like, an interview where he says he smoked once and didn't like it, but it's, like, there's no way he definitely, he like, he's definitely been on some kind of, like, upper or, like, had yeah, an Adderall addiction or something. He's just talking about, yeah, he's, he's tried capping. some things. Definitely. But, yeah. Do you want to get into some recommendations? We could, perhaps. We forgot last time. Yeah, we forgot we, everything. Can you tell we're a little burnt out? But, yeah, we forgot last time. Even mm-hmm. though you should still check out the YouTube and the Spotify, because there's all sorts of stuff on there. Yes. Um, YouTube specifically, that's really... I began adding stuff. Yeah, I did add Evan. Alas. Finally. To the playlist after... Yes. A minute. Um, but, yeah. Uh, a lot of PJ Harvey. I've been obsessed with PJ Harvey. Like, all of her live stuff, especially. Absolutely insane. And it's, like, my favorite. Like, her... Po- I think I've literally, like, said this before, but her performing Sheila a gig at Reading in 1992. It is one of my favorite performances to watch. Um, I had Jamie teach me how... She does, like, this cool intro, like, riff. Um, but, yeah, I had him teach me how to do that because it's amazing. And, yeah, you should watch that. It's on the playlist. There you go. Um, yeah, I, more video essays. <laughs> a lot more. Everybody loves a good video essay. Yeah. On, like, visual arts and whatever. Um, oh, nothing's loading. But, um, ooh, uh, there's a song... It's Me by Gary Newman. Gary Newman shreds. Okay, but you know that song, right? It's mm-hmm. like M-E. That yeah. like chord progression in the beginning. Mm-hmm. It sounds so from I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what song that has like sampled it or something. But it's been hurting me so bad. I like I just like the synth and whatever in it. But I don't know what it is. I I've been trying to figure out what song like what song has that in it, but whatever. Um <laughs> I don't know. It like is literally driving me crazy. And then um anyways, The Naked Cousin Demo by PJ Harvey. It's on my personal playlist. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think I Oh, it's amazing. It's one of I my know favorite. The non-demo. Yeah, but the demo is like a little more I don't know. 
It's just got some different noises in it. <laughs> you know, it's got like a weird like bagpipe solo in it. Mm-hmm. It sounds like I don't know if the the like um I don't know what what do you call it the like not the original but the um like the primary release like the studio version like the done up version I don't know if that has it in it but it has like this gnarly like bagpipe it sounds like bagpipes in it but it's like it's got like some dissonance happening too so it's like really hurts <laughs> it, it I don't know ear bleeding yeah just a little. And then A Day in the Life by the Beatles. I don't know. I just started listening. Who doesn't like that song? Hmm? I don't know. Who doesn't like that song? It's it's great. Yeah, I just started listening to it. I was like, I'm just going to be that person. (laughs) Always be that person. And then (laughs) Biba Dewey's cover of Don't You Forget About Me. (laughs) Um, I don't know. It's just really fun. It's, you know, it's why I like her and her. I'm assuming it's the band that she has right now. Um, It sounds like it, just based off of like audio shit but it sounds like it and then feeling like i do by super drag uh, molasses by earl sweatshirt it's just a really i i don't know i just like that a lot that's a good song it's fun and then even like riot like the song that he he like just like broke it up and put like girls moaning in it and stuff you know <laughs> but like the original like stuff like song that he like sampled from or the guest just sped it up mm-hmm. but that song is really cool oh yeah um and then fire by Jimi hendrix married with children by oasis when the sun hits slow dive this is love by pj harvey it's amazing that N- is not, love yeah, it's amazing not sleeping around by ned's atomic dustbin <laughs> so good double I can, bass yeah um yeah, I mean, Machine Head by Bush. I just, I can't say that I'm not a fan of Bush's. That's their first album. Uh huh. Uh, just accidentally played it. <laughs> um, yeah. You're gonna get us copyrighted. You're gonna <laughs> like, get taken down forever. One of forever. the ten people that listen to this is like. I'm gonna report this. Yeah, yeah you should. This. Yeah, everybody listening to this, report it, so Please. we don't have to do this anymore. I'm kidding. <laughs> Evan wants out. I'm keeping him captive. Yeah. He doesn't get let out of the I've studio. I've never left. Mm-mm. He hasn't left since we started. It's been two months. Yeah, and I haven't been fed once. Has it been two months? I think so. There's literally no way. Well, five, five... Five episodes. This is the fifth one. That's wild. I know. It doesn't feel... it. I don't know. Life is going fast for no reason. Yeah. Marmalade March by Psychedelic Porn Crumpets. That's a great you know, band. Yeah. Um, I used to, yeah, I used yeah, to be good. into them. Uh, Yuri G by PJ Harvey, another slammer. <laughs> right Side of My Neck, Faye Webster. It's really nice. It's a wonderful. Oh, what is this? I don't know. This is like the most pop song song that I think I've listened to in the last year. <laughs> but Del Water Gap, Conversation Stuck in Your Throat. I don't know. I don't know why. Why not? I don't know. It's like fine. I, just, I don't know. It just something about it. Some of the 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 way it sounds is just very nice. Yeah. Okay, you should go. Okay, first off, I got uh, "After All" by the band formerly known as Ohm, but it's now Phenom, I think. F I N O M. Uh, is it really? Yeah, it's very very nice on the eardrums. Uh, the Ferris Wheel by the Everly Brothers. Is that some of the stuff you were playing on the way here? Nah, you gotta I can play it on the way back though. You gotta. What, what were you playing on the way here? He's easier said than done by the Sacred Souls. Some other yeah s- stuff that like stuff that. stuff was re- stuff like it. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good though. <laughs> and then next up we got Shawnique by Calvin Keys. Some good some good jazz. Uh, if you can't learn from my mistakes by Moby Grape, mm-hmm. Tennessee Blues by Bobby Charles. Let's see, Pinch by Can. That one's wild. Mm-hmm. If you like weird noises, mm-hmm. um, let's see. Watermelon Man. That was mentioned on the first episode, wasn't it? I know. I'm just saying it because it's funny. It is funny. Weird noises. Uh. The Man of the Hour, Traveling After Dark, Demo by Neil Cassell from the album 
All Directions, which I think is that the one. It's like a guy. Yeah. With like his, like it's like a son for mm-hmm. face or something. I think that album is all like demos and live versions from his album No Wish to Reminisce, which yeah. is also really good. Then uh, what else? Sit with the Guru by Strawberry Alarm Clock. I like mm-hmm. that song. Hmm, I'll do one more. Garden of Paradise by Steve Hilliard. It's just one really long song of just mm. synths Ooh, and stuff. That's always nice. <laughs> Bleeps and bloops. That's something I could sit on my floor to. Yes. Like when I'm drawing my little doodles on, I resorted to cardboard because <laughs> I ran out of canvas. I did like a giant. I don't know. Have I talked about this already? A little bit. I did. But I yeah, so. I, re- I resorted to cardboard and I, I like literally just like sprawl out on my carpet. <laughs> And my dog does sometimes piss on my floor, so every once in a while, you get a, nice little, a little something. I still have the picture of you laying on my floor, right in a piss spot. Remember, and then somebody edited a picture of a cockroach next to you? Oh, yeah. It's in, like, a dumpster. I don't know. I still have it. It's funny. <laughs> but, yeah. It's funny. You were fully laying in a piss spot, but... Oh. Good. Yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. No, you don't. That just blew out somebody's eardrums. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I don't know. I forgot what I was saying, but yeah, I do sprawl out on my floor and just like kick my feet and doodle for. I literally sat down and did that. I watched um, a, like a documentary thing on The Shining, how it relates to a Beatles album, <laughs> and it's two hours, two and a half hours long. Oh my god! Sat on the floor the whole time and then watched more Shining videos i was fully on the ground i was horizontal for five hours and then i went to work and both all the videos i watched are in the playlist on the youtube respect yeah it was it, i mean i'm not complaining it was very fun yeah but um yeah by the way for those who uh might be pissed at me i am officially adding my good buddy chloe to our artist lineup for <laughs> the the cactus club thing i think i'm just gonna have you like share a table with you know either parker or izzy i feel like i could probably sneak in with izzy i think you could we're just i think i'm gonna do like fold folding tables so yeah. you could what's the issue is it just if you can share it i just just the space what, thing it might be i just don't want to like push it and bring more people well, than right. are like i told we're gonna be there but like yeah. if i'm like so I think you like I could have you just help me set up. Yeah, I'll like just, yeah, because Raina's also helping me set up and mm-hmm. whatever, and you know, she's we're gonna decorate the stage with like rugs yeah. and lamps and stuff. Yeah, I, I mean I, I can bring some shit in. I have plenty of rugs. Exactly. They may or may not be piss rugs, but I can wash them. Yeah, that's fine. But <laughs> it adds know. to the ambiance. Exactly. I do have that awesome blanket I got at the bins. Mm-hmm. That shit goes crazy. I'm gonna have to bring that in. You could. Yeah. Yeah. That. But I think that's what I'll do, cause if there's if it's you know like a a folding table, there's enough room for, cause Izzy's not bringing a ton of stuff, yeah. and like you could just bring whatever you want and either sell it or not sell it. Or I just, just like show wanna it. be there. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just maybe I. <laughs> build a I don't even know there's I know there's gonna be a good amount of people there already Mm -hmm. from this past weekend I heard from a few people that are gonna Mm -hmm. be there so but yeah you should if you're listening to this you should go you should go because now we're my my mere co-host is going to be there I made you feel like an asshole (laughs) I I just I didn't really think about it honestly I was like kind of just preoccupied so i was like no yeah yeah it must be fine but you know no i fully on on further investigation it's like yeah i could figure something out yeah no no i fully <laughs> just wanted to make you feel bad not gonna lie to you because <laughs> nah. i've been sitting on it for a minute yeah that's not i've been letting it brew a... yeah but yeah i know i know i, I whatever yeah it's it'll be f- fine i'm doing yeah. the okay symbol with both hands yes that's probably like a gang sign though but. Is, doesn't it mean like white power or something oh yeah when you go i should i should literally <laughs> fully just held it up too it's like when you go like you like separate the three fingers yeah that's good i wouldn't i still have those blisters on the air we're doing it live i'll like i'll i say this every episode but i'll figure out how to edit 
a picture and then I'll take a picture of me doing that. <laughs> no, do not do that. <laughs> that's like what? They you don't need think to that's see a good it. idea in front of like the window? <laughs> With people looking at you like, <laughs> like literally just terrifying. In shock. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. But yes, but no, yeah. November twenty seventh, mm -hmm. Cactus Club, all ages, three to seven PM. Mm -hmm. Chloe will be there. Mm -hmm. Uh Raina. Raina will be there. I'm gonna go through the list. Everybody of, else. Yeah. Parker Sweeney is also one of he's in Shuby. He's gonna be playing music as well as showing his his beautiful art. And uh Izzy Frankie Hartman. <laughs> she does legend. actually have two first names. Yeah. It's notorious. Yeah, she's a legend. Uh Max Neiman, Nate Kinsman, uh myself with my with my good buddy Aaron, uh, Aaron not, Juno. Not Eric. Not Eric this time. Well, that's my buddy Eric, not my good buddy. Um, am I forgetting anybody? Oh, Charlie Grider from the band Scam Likely. That's a badass woman. Uh, mm. Come check it out. Uh, I think you and her will get along great. Mm. She's... Some badassery. Yeah, she's pretty sick. Inspiring. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't know. There, I bet there will be a bunch of you know local people from Milwaukee there hanging out. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you some of them off the air because I don't know if they yeah. want me to name drop. Them, <laughs> yeah, but that's a good idea. The rest is public information. Because I still don't know how to edit, so this is just one <laughs> long story. It's been pretty good without the editing. It has. It's, it's kind of bad. had a charm. The one thing that I have done that's has touched the audio in any way is when my dad was on here, and I'm gonna try to get him on again. I want him to talk about Ned's. Atomic Dustman, mm -hmm. but um, I pressed pause recording. He <laughs> left, and then me and Evan looked at each other, counted down, and then I pressed start recording again. Yes, that's the only edit I've ever done in the last few episodes. And so. I bet very few of you bozos could have even noticed. Stupid. Yeah. Idiot. Idiot. Anyways. Hooligan. Yeah. Silly goose. Monkey or Rascal. monkeying around. Your Honor, my client was just monkeying around. <laughs> it's like um, a saw with a monkey. But yeah, I don't need like I've never even watched it. That me neither. Show. You haven't? No. Oh, I thought you. You've seen Breaking Bad, but I haven't seen. I watched like saw. three episodes of Breaking Bad, but I know the lore just because of the memes. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Finger. Can name is Finger. It's so dumb. Um, I was about to say the most vile, like blank named Finger in the group chat. I don't know what you you said. I'll, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can. I, it was vile. But yeah. Um, that group I think chat is cursed. It's this is, <laughs> say, just saying large file, large attachment. <laughs> large attachment. Because we like we got like banned from sending gift, Large like, attachments gifts. Yeah. and photos. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's literally. <laughs> it's so stupid. Would you say I, would, I have a large attachment I would like to send? Was, someone said large attachment of a UW Madison. Oh, like bingo. A image. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's good though. Um, Crazy. Yeah. Goofy ah. Well said. Yep. Um, I think that's it. This was a roller coaster. Yeah. Good one. Oh yeah. Um but yeah, hope I made you cry. Yeah. And maybe giggle. Mm hmm If you know us. If you don't, it's probably just like okay. Yeah. Or my parents. But Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Check in with your people, check in with yourselves. Yes. One thing and, that helps me is to, oh. you know, try and disconnect from self mm -hmm. and realize you take know, a two minute social media vacation and then just being like forced to go back because yeah. you of like life things that you can't control yeah because everything is on the internet exactly um. but no take a, a step out of your <laughs> yes. body and like as remember to breathe because i'm like this is just like sad but i genuinely do forget to breathe sometimes yeah me you too. have to sometimes you just have to reset mm -hmm. and i know that's easier said than done but reset yourself Mm -hmm. In any way you Google it, I don't give a shit. Yeah, but it it really remember to breathe. Mm -hmm. And you know, with the winter and the we're gonna be inside more. You know, try and you know go outside as much as possible yes. and enjoy the seasons for what they are. Because mm -hmm. you're not I'm gonna telling be able to change you, if you it. are in Kenosha or like you know, if you are a Parkside person, go to Pets. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go fully in that shit. Just yeah. walk on the. You know, by the road. I don't know. Sit in your car and watch the nature. Yeah. With your windows down. I do that mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm doing homework and I need to not. 
be in my house, fully do that. Um, but yeah. Also, I wanted to shout out my friend um, Josie. Um, you've never met her. She, I. It's not the Josie I know. No. Okay. Maybe. The Josie I know is a guy. Oh no, it's not. It's a chick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's really. We were like very close in. I think sophomore year of high school, and then she moved to some southern town. I don't even know Hell where she yeah, is. Yeah, brother. I think it's Arizona. Um, but yeah, she goes to Chicago a lot. Maybe we'll meet. But we were super close. We still are very close. Um, but yeah, shout out to you because I know you. Yeah, I hope you're doing okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. So that's all we got. Yeah. Until next time. That's it. Now I'm gonna go lock up and back up. Yep. Bye.